I always tell people I never really left Sierra Leone. I take Sierra Leone with me. It's like a terrible weight of history, both positive and negative, that I go around with. Otherwise, I can't write, I can't survive. I have been called political poet, and I embrace it. Oh, yes, political. Why not political? My very presence on this earth is political. We were more or less uh, writing poetry with a concern for humanity. We've never been in competition mm. with, uh, with each other because we're different people with different poets. Mm. And I think we, uh, that is essentially the key to this friendship. Writing in, on our continent today involves a lot of risk taking, thinking interrogatively. Thinking originally involves a lot of risks. No nation survives in the long run without the contribution of its scientists, its artists, its painters, its, its engineers. Politicians come and go. They're down. But we are the ones who make nations. When we are kids, we say that one day we'll explore the world. Then we grow up, routine sets in, and we forget about our childhood dreams. The world as we see it is an expression of the collective beliefs. When we look at the world today in crisis and failing, then it says if you want to evolve and survive this crisis, we have to change the belief systems. The reduction of our identities to being consumers is part of the problem. La science du 20e siècle a redécouvert ce que le bouddhisme nous a appris depuis 2500 ans, c'est-à-dire les concepts d'interdépendance. Toutes les choses sont reliées ensemble. So it's a kind of like a cycle. That's how nature works. So we have to learn from nature and create a cyclical economy. Nosotros somos la punta del cambio que viene. ¿no? This is the story of a fruit, a simple fruit, available all year round all around the world. It's the story of a fruit on which an empire was built, one of the first modern multinationals, the United Fruit Company. I get the blues in the morning, I get the blues in the night, but when I eat a banana sundae, ooh, This is the story of a fruit which altered the destiny of Central America and gave its name to republics. It became notorious, it became the symbol of all that's wrong with American capitalism. This is an economic and political tale, a little story about globalization. This is the story of a fruit, a simple fruit, the banana. Chiru Mugani Mugani Kachu. Wega manyama banga mumabondo ya mumera wana. Sipa kumo shpa pisa me, la premo se do lo. Se kumo de lo de la rivia. Reka mugira badamu go siko, iyo nyanje imana ya yitule manye kwezi. Ati kuko ni uomu nezeo, ni uomu tuzo imana ya remeye awagabo wacho. Hey, I'm just a kid. 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 I'm just a kid.
and pipe fitters and McDonald's workers and kind of all sorts, which was fascinating for me because who, who else cares about mineral rights in rural Oregon besides ranchers? But it wasn't about ranching. They are losing ground and real wages haven't risen and nobody can get real work. And then Ammon Bundy shows up and said, yes, you have been getting gaslit for most of your life and I can help you fix it. People weren't looking for answers. They were looking for a deeper immersion in anti-government militancy. When you are out of a job, when your 401k is crashed, the kids may not have shoes, but I am in the service of a larger good, that of American liberty. It's empowering for people who felt they were finally being listened to. I want to give you a sense of a massive revolution in our thinking that has come across during the last about 20 years. She liked to start trouble. <laughs> Lynn looks at the natural world and sees symbiosis, interdependence, not competition, not the survival of the fittest. All life on Earth that is not bacteria is product of symbiogenesis. What does that mean? It means that very different sorts of organisms came together to make a new kind of being. If you're making new science and having new ideas, you have to be passionate about them. You have to grab a hold of this idea and push, push, push. It changed the rules of the game, and this is not popular ever. She was absolutely spot on, and that made her a huge name in science. Our view of man apart from nature, man exploiting nature, has got to change because that is the basis of the environmental crisis. People are ruining their environment. These bacteria are producing an environment that's livable. So I think we have lots to learn from them. Thank you.